How you doing guys? Bioinformatics guy here with a brand new video series Bash Essentials for Bioinformatics. In this series we will be exploring what we can do with Bash and today we are gonna find out why it is crucial for biologists to learn Bash if they want to enter into the realm of bioinformatics. I know most of you might be wondering what the heck is Bash but I also know that almost everybody has seen those hacking scenes in the movies in which a hacker has several monitors and then there are black screens with green color text flying rapidly across the screen and the fingers of the hacker are typing on the keyboard like this. Well, that is a mysterious interface, you know. I will let you know about a fun fact about those hacking scenes later in the series. But right now, we need to figure out what is that mysterious interface. So that mysterious interface is command line interface. And this command line interface enables users to interact with computers without using the graphical user interface. One of the most important type of CLI is Bash. Now, the thing is, why Bash for biologists? There are several reasons for that, but I will give you the most important two reasons why a biologist needs to learn Bash. So the first reason is that bioinformaticians have to process lots of different kinds of data. It could be data from DNA sequences. It could be data from protein structures. It could be data from gene levels, or it could be multiomic data. And there are countless number of experiments that we run and we get a lot of different kinds of data. And for every data, every different kind of data, we have to use different kind of tools. Now, you might be able to find out few of the bioinformatics tools which comes with a graphical user interface but the thing is the latest and greatest cutting edge bioinformatics tools only come with a CLI interface and there is no graphical user interface. Second reason is that bioinformatics data is usually very huge and it is because of the sheer size of the DNA. You know that there are 3 billion nucleotide pairs in human DNA. While it's a fun fact that most of that DNA is considered as junk and useless, but we still have to process all that stuff in order to get some meaningful information out of those data. So in order to process those huge amounts of data and to run extensive pipelines, we need supercomputers. Now the problem with supercomputers is that they are very expensive and you cannot just buy a supercomputer and keep it at home because you need specific and very ultra high-tech cooling systems in order to keep them cool down and there are also different maintenance processes that you have to run. And that's why supercomputers are usually present at very specific locations. Now, I have a good news for you. The good news is that you can access those supercomputers from the comfort of your laptop just by using Bash. I would like to introduce a new term, HPC. HPC is usually known as high performance computing clusters. These clusters are present in almost all of the research institutes and in universities. And when you will get access to an HPC, you will get the access to the terminal or bash of the server. And whenever you have to do anything in order to run a code or open a folder or move a file, all the stuff you have to do is by using bash or CLI, command line user interface. I know that now you are motivated to learn Bash and you want to know what you can do with Bash. So with Bash, you can manipulate data files and you can filter data and you can also write custom scripts so, so that you can automate different steps in bioinformatic pipelines. And while you are new in bioinformatics or you are a uh, biologist who does not know anything about computers and stuff 
I have designed this whole series in a very simple and biologist friendly way so that you can learn very easily. If you watch this video series completely and do all the practical exercise on your machine, I can assure you that it will take your bioinformatics skill set from here to here. And I really wanted to show you how you can open bash and at least run the basic print command in bash. But I am running this uh, machine learning model. It's been training for over two days on my PC and my PC has the Windows and Linux operating system so I cannot show you that today so in the next video I will be showing you how you can open bash on your Mac or on your Linux and on or your Windows on Windows it takes a few steps so we will be walking through all those steps so that no matter where and on which machine you are working on you can continue with this series thanks again for your time and watching this video if you have any comments you can put them just below the like button i will also add all the useful links just next to the subscribe button thanks again for watching and see you around in the next video